Ladies and gentlemen, we have an update. La Soufre makes the big boom. Yesterday's one-two punch was simply setting up for the big blast into the stratosphere here. La Soufre volcano erupting on St. Vincent from Go's satellite. And this was about three hours ago now. Uh, let's go to the data. Explosive activity continuing volcanic ash advisory center. VOC warned of a plume rising 35,000 or 10,700 meters. Flight level 350, and it is looking like Armageddon in some of the places. Let's take a look. Just, just released moments ago, and these, uh, there's ash now falling on Barbados, and you can't even see over to St. Vincent. Stones dropping now. Stones dropping. Bigger stones dropping now. Bigger stones dropping. As you can hear. <laughs> It's raining rocks. Well, that's not parsed up there. Let's take a look at some, uh, oh, let's put that baby on pause and we'll get back to it. Let's come over here and take a look at uh, some of this footage. Some of these rocks, take a look. You know, at this the guy at the moment, up in Sandy Bay era, Sandy Bay. Yeah, man, look at them, they're real big. Yeah, man. Anyway, Tommy, you good? This is not rain. This is stone falling. This is not rain. This is not rain falling. And what you're hearing is not thunder. Why? <laughs> stone jumping in my mouth. What you're hearing is not thunder. It's the souffre. It is the souffre. Landed. Literally just landed. Just landed from on top of the hill. Wow. Um, Oh my goodness, and this is going to be obviously more footage coming in. And this was the small eruption yesterday, the second one, which was actually larger in oh, output. No one is in the house? Oh, wow. Clearly people shaking up there. And this is not the eruption that just happened three hours ago. This is uh, yesterday's second eruption. That eruption that happened three hours ago is right there massive explosion clearly blowing all those rocks miles into the sky and you could see it getting capped on the stratosphere and then a secondary push there through the stratosphere and up into the stratosphere that second puff not that one this one is now up in the stratosphere for some time and that is going to cause the temperature potentially to drop maybe upwards of a tenth a degree it could be in the near term and if this continues to erupt Couple more belches, maybe a few a little higher. We could be looking at something pretty interesting here. Not that we're already not looking at something interesting. More footage. It might be dark there, but it's daytime. And they got, this is the one place on earth where you should be wearing a mask. It doesn't often snow in St. Vincent. And there, that's pretty cool. Normal drive on the left. Current conditions on the right there. Wow. Just some spectacular footage here. So La Soufre volcano once again. Some people being evacuated there has gone off for a third and most substantial time. This one reaching six, six miles or more, 35,000 feet into the atmosphere, hitting the stratosphere here, just a tippy touch and pushing that extra little bit of particulates and aerosols up into that region. 
And Iraq is now falling as far as Barbados, where there are 300,000 people living. Explosive activity continues with the plume that rose to 35,000 feet altitude or flight level 350, moving 40 knots east direction, and it is raining stones in the Caribbean today. Hope you got something out of the video. Proper prior planning prevents piss poor performance when you live downwind of an active volcano. Be safe. We love you. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And that's a boom. To la souffre. Hey, hey. Boom.